Hi everyone, I'm Henry from Excellent Analytics. This video is about on how to rebuild the data combination when merging two different queries, such as these two queries, the combined tables and the master list material and description. The reason why I need to merge these two queries is because I need to replace this material description by this uh, corrected material description of master list. So going to the user interface, by the way, I converted the previous Excel file I did on forecasting tool of linear and average trend line into a Power BI. The procedure in setting up your Power BI is almost the same as in Excel file because basically they are sharing many aspects of uh, method to prepare, shape, and auto-calculate your data. You can watch my previous videos just in case they're uh, interested in setting up your Power BI just like this. Anyway, this tutorial video is focused on setting up your Power BI report to correct issues such as this. Formula firewall query, step merge queries, reference other queries or steps so it may not directly access a data source. Please rebuild this data combination. So basically, we'll tackle two different solutions or scenarios on how to rebuild data combinations so that merging of two different queries designed to get external source of data is possible without encountering the above issue. And the second is to rebuild data combination by updating all existing DAX measures that were formulated based from the original query, then modify these measures referring to the second or newly created query without recoding each measures. So now going back to this uh, query editor, let me demonstrate the error message first by doing merge queries immediately. Then the second table use this master list material description. The first is the combined table and their common reference is the material number. Use left outer then press OK. OK, now you see the error. Please rebuild this data combination. So let's delete this uh, last step of uh, query. So the solution is right click, then use uh, reference. Now it's combined table number two. Now the power query will let us to do merging to this material list description and the common reference the material yeah use left outer then press ok no more issue okay now expand and check this material because we are only interested on this corrected material description and check this original column name as prefix now let's relocate or move this column sit beside this uh, original material description so basically this ma old material description will be replaced by this corrected material description now going back here let's wait for this loading to finish okay so currently these tables or these uh, matrices are still using the uh, this uh, combined table uh, query number one, if I expand it to a next level of column to the material description, all this material description and everything should be replaced by this uh, combined table. It's a very tedious job. That's why the uh, second scenario or second solution that I'm going to show to you is the answer to avoid this uh, tedious job by replacing and updating all these uh, rows and columns. Okay, let's get into this second scenario on how to rebuild data combination by updating all existing DAX measures that were formulated based from the original query. Then modify these measures referring to the second or newly created query without recording each measures. So as we created this earlier, we have two main queries, namely combined tables and this combined tables number two, which are basically alike, except that this second query has a corrected material description, while this initial query has DAX measures that are still connected. These DAX measures should be updated by connecting them into second query. So our objective here is to turn this newly created reference 
query name combine table number two into a main reference for all existing and future DAX measures. This will enable us to simplify writing DAX measures by using one query, thus to avoid confusion in formulating new DAX measures. For an example, as you notice here in total orders, they are still written in this combined tables, which is still referring to this uh, initial query. So what we're going to do is to update all existing measures that will finally refer to the second combined table without rewriting each uh, existing measures. After all, this second query will let us to do more merging in the future, while in this initial query combined table doesn't possess additional information such as merging from other queries simply because the Power BI won't let you to create a merge query. So let's start by transferring these few DAX measures into all DAX formula table, which is already existed here, because this initial combined table query will undergo rebuild by deleting this query in order to disconnect all the DAX measures, then change the name of this uh, second query into combined table similar to the initial query. If we will not transfer these uh, existing DAX measures in a separate table, they will going to be deleted along with this uh, initial query, which is very tedious to redo the DAX measures. So now let's carry on by selecting these uh, total orders, then go to this home table, then select this all DAX formula, then it will automatically transfer into this all DAX formula table. Then similarly, go to this uh, total cost, then go to this uh, home table, then repeat the rest of these uh, measures. So I will going to do pass forward. So now all the DAX measures are already here. So now let's get into this uh, Power Query editor by Right click, then edit query. Okay, <clears throat> okay, we are now in this uh, user interface of query editor. We just focus our uh, alteration on these two combined tables, the initial combined table and the newly created combined table. This newly created combined table has actually a merge query. As you notice here, it has a Record material description. So if we uh, delete this right away, the Power Query won't allow us because of this uh, being referenced by another query, which is the combined table number two. So we need to delete this as well. Before we delete uh, these two, we need to duplicate each. Then duplicate this as well. So as you notice, when we do duplication, all the process step of query will be duplicated as well. So let's uh, rename this right away by initial combined table, then enter, copy this uh, rename initial combined table and put it here, the source, go to the source, then paste it here by overwriting that combined table, then Enter. Now we able to delete this uh, combined table number two since we have already a copy. Then this as well. Okay, we now able to to rename this as per the original. So basically, we are tricking the Power Query to let all the DAX measures to refer this new query. Now let's uh, close and apply, then apply the changes, wait for the loading. Okay, as you notice, all the charts and matrices were messed up, so you need to reconnect them because we deleted all the original uh, queries and uh, renamed them. So basically, uh, some were reconnected by the uh, Power Query. All we need to do is re to reconnect this date to this uh, date of combined tables then also here. So let's review the connection as well. The material is connected. How about this one? Also material is connected. Material number is connected. Now let's go to the user interface. Now everything okay. So if we're going to review each of these uh, DAX measures, you notice that the combined table name still remains as is. 
So now we can uh, proceed in making new DAX measures uh, referring to these combined tables, which is actually a uh, newly created uh, a query with the corrected material description. Now it is fine to replace this old material description by this new uh, corrected uh, description. Just delete this old description, then replace it by this corrected description. How about this uh, second matrix? Oh, this second matrix is the uh, merge of uh, material number and the description. It was set up under the query. So let's go to the query. The uh, merging of that material number and description actually happened here in this uh, initial combined table under this uh, merge column of this uh, duplicated uh, material number and description. Uh, let's uh, delete this so that we will replace it by corrected description. So while this uh, change type, we need to update the change type by reviewing each uh, column. So again, this uh, power query enabled to detect the alphanumeric so of this uh, material number. So we need to forcibly convert it into the text. Yeah, hit refresh and continue review of each column and I found another issue this working process uh, all this quantity is unable to convert it to the uh, full number it should be full number because the reason for that where it's just picking some something on the first number of rows whether it should be the number or and the rest are fine. Now going back to this combined table, we need to merge this material number and this uh, corrected uh, material description. So let me drag this corrected material description just nearby to this uh, old description. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I need to duplicate each because I don't want to uh, merge these two right away uh, because there we might uh, use it separately in the future. So that's why I, I need to duplicate each and let's do uh, the correct description after and that's it now let's merge them by separation of uh, space then uh, hyphen then paste then let's call it material number same as the uh, before then description then press ok then home uh, let's apply do not close yet let's see what are the issues let's uh, wait for the loading to finish And that's it. Now this second matrix is automatically updated because uh, we retain the same name of this merge material number and description. So I think that's it. Everything is nice. So I hope you enjoy this short tutorial video in merging the queries and updating all existing DAX measures into a new query. Stay in touch, my friends, by subscribing to my weekly updates to cover all of these topics on my next videos. This is to show how Microsoft Excel and Power BI with the help of DAX, Language, and MVP Power Query, and lastly, Python. I will demonstrate each software on how to automate and consolidate multiple sources of data to do meaningful, faster auto-reporting that will enable you to do query or investigation and make analysis easier in real-world applications such as in supply chain, engineering, manufacturing, and financial industry. I will also do touch-up tutorial on few examples of uh, DOE or design of experiments using SASJAM and also automate repetitive tasks in SOLIDWORKS. So again, stay in touch. Thank you.